Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and today I like to do something that everyone is familiar with. I want to do a clownfish and everyone will be familiar with this because there was a wonderful movie a few years ago that Disney came out that was about called Finding Nemo and this is the type of fish that he was. And it's a very colorful and beautiful fish and I'm going to show you how to make that from start to finish. I'll show you the types of clay that you can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this. This is the one I used to use all the time as a kid. And uh, what's great about this is it never hardens. And once you get bored with it, you just roll it back up into a ball into something else. There's also an air hardening clay such as this, which hardens like in a couple of hours overnight. What's great about this is once it hardens, you can paint it. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven at about 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. It's great. You can drill it, sand it. It, doesn't, it never hardens until you actually fire it in the actual home oven. I'll show you the size balls of clay that we'll be using today. What I did is I'm going to make it easy. So what I did right here is I have several balls of clay here. This is the bottom of it. You're going to have this is the actual tail. And these are for all the different fins that we're going to have on the fish. And these are the, the various sizes. I'll put it in my hand so you can see how big each ball is roughly and I'll roll that around and that's the size the, but what we're also going to do is I did roll up a number of different balls like this because we're, we're going to uh, I wanted to make the shape of the fish but what I did is I put tin foil under here crinkled it up and I put started putting clay around it and I'll show you how we're going to finish up on that but we're also going to use tin foil to make a nice base that you see right here right there and uh, We'll, we'll proceed from there. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to take and start take some of this clay now, these balls, and just cover up the rest of this tin foil now. And see that? You're just going to rub it in like that. Just like that. Look at that. And then we'll take I'm flattening this out so I can put it over the tin foil. This way you can save on the clay also. That way you're not using up all the clay and uh, you can do that. See how I'm putting that over there like that? We'll do that. Do that. And we're going to take, I'll cover that up. See that? just like that. So we're going to take this little piece of clay and we'll cover up the rest of the tin foil right here. Take this, see that, so it looks like we're just about have that almost completely covered, covering the tin foil, see that? So we basically have the sh shape of the fish, see how we got that, the nice shape is similar to that one? But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it close to this one, see. So we're going to, so what I'm going to do is just smooth this out over here. Take my thumb and smooth that out. We're going to add a little more clay to this right here. Take that. Smooth that out like that.
put some more clay on it. Smooth that out. Take my thumb. See that? Just smooth that out. Just like that. See that one? Smooth that out nicely. Smooth that out. Now I see that just adding a little bit of clay because I wanted to smooth it out. Just like that. Now, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to take some clay, build up the front here a little bit. Add a little bit of clay there. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to just add clay there. So that's what it'll look like from the side. Gonna see that? Starting to get into the nice shape of the mouth. That's what it'll look like from the underside. That's what it looked like from the front. That's what it looked like from the side. So now that we've got that, we've pretty much got the, the shape of the fish the way we want. Just want to smooth it just a little bit more. I can smoothen that with my thumb. So I do want to show you now. See that? Because I have a nice, I have them so just curved like a banana. And that's what it look, will look like now. That's, that's the, the shape of that. But what we also want to do also is I'm going to take some tin foil here, and I am going to make a nice base. I'll show you. See this piece here, the blue? That's just tin foil, and we're going to take and wrap clay around there. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So you take this, sprinkle this up like this, and then like that. And, yep. I'll put a little more tin foil on that. Just like that. See how easy that was to make? Just make it like it's a little mound. Now, what we're going to do. So now that we have that, I want to make sure it's roughly the same size as this, okay. So we're going to take the clay, and similar to like we, we did with the fish, we're going to start wrapping the clay, put the clay around the tinfoil. So we're going to take this here. I'm just going to do this a little bit, warm it up a little bit, that way I can, with my hands. Flatten this out. See, I'm flattening that out. Then we put it on like this. Do 
just like that. Get a little more clay there. Flatten this out. Then we're going to go all the way around like that. Doesn't take long to do, but we'll, I'll show you. See that? Just wrap that around and we'll be good. Play. We don't need that. I'm just an extra piece now. So we're gonna do is to see how this. We're almost. We almost have everything covered. See that? Just take, flatten that out like that. And wrap it around. And that's exactly what we did for this fish over here that I had. I started, made the tin foil, made the shape I wanted, and then just covered it in this exact same manner. Then we're going to just put that there. We are good. Just a little bit more. Putting that on there right there like that. See that? You got the tin foil underneath it. Very simple. But what we want to do is we want to make it look like water. So what I'm going to do is I have a piece of crinkled up tin foil here. And as I've shown you in the past, we're just going to move that along the clay, make, some, make it look like water. See that? Just kind of rub that along there like that. And give it a, like a water-like texture. So I'm going all around. Yeah, we are good. Just make sure. See how we did that? Look at that beautiful texture. Just took a, a minute or two. So now, what we want to do is I want to start to make some of the fins for the, for the fish. Uh, let's see. So what we're going to do is we have the various sizes over here. And I am going to take this, this ball of clay here. see that's approximately the right size so what we're going to do is make this into a circle and that's going to be the tail so and then we're going to flatten it out see I'm going to flatten that out like a pancake we did that so what I want to do is measure it against the one that I have here yep I'm happy with that now so now, just going to see, yep, that looks good. So what we're going to take is I'm going to kind of put these two together. See that? Like 
do that. See that? So I took and just go like that with your thumb. And then the back on this other side, do the same thing over here. And that takes care of that. So the next thing that we want to do is I want to make some more fins. So let me see. I got that. And I want to kind of make sure they're approximately the same size. Okay. And then we are going to get, let's see, so if I did this, looks like we're going we're gonna to make work and make these fins right here right now. See those right there? And I'm going to do the approximate size on those. So what I'm doing is flattening out, but then this is the shape that we want. I'm going to show you. We want to make that shape there. See, so I'm going to kind of go around with my fingers like that and make that shape right there. I want to make sure it's yeah, about the same size there. So then I'm going to grab and make the other one. Make sure, yep. So what we're doing, see that? Make that shape like that. I want to make sure they're approximately the same size, which they are. Yep. I'm flattening it out. Oh, <laughs> they, sometimes they fall like that. But I want to make sure these are basically the same size. So we've got those two done. And then I want to make a couple of other fins on the bottom. There's a couple of fins right here. See those? And those are the two that we're going to work on right now. And then I'll make the other one. Okay. So I like to compare them, make sure that the base. Let me see, I'll try to make it so you can see a little better. See how they're basically the same size? And that's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So those, these are the two side ones. Those are the two bottom ones. Let me make sure I have those. And then I got another little fin that's here. So this, what I'm doing is flattening out, but this time we're going to make more of a triangle here. See how we got that triangular shape? We're going to do that. That's on the bottom. I want to make sure. And then 
we have a couple of fins that are up here. I just want to hold that up. See this fin right here? And this fin right here. We're gonna be doing we're gonna do those right now. So I might have to actually get a little more clay and add it. So I think. Roll that together. Let's see if I can get it approximately the same size as the one that I have here. So flatten out. Yep, that looks like it's approximately the same size. That's what I wanted. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that up here so I know, and I'm going to have let it keep it standing up. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to do this fin right here. And we will... So I'm flattening out, see that, flattening out, but then we're, this is what I want the fin to look like. See that shape that I'm creating? Go around like that with your, your finger and your thumb. And I want to make sure, yep, that's good. Let me put that right here. Then, let's see, we want to um, take these balls of clay because I'm probably going to end up using them for. So we got that. Um, okay. see something I'm gonna be making the eyes so I just want to take make a couple of clay balls that are approximately the right size okay So I'll show you the size. These two here, I'm making those, and I'm going to use those for the eyes. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. See the eyes here, how they're kind of bulging out? We're going to, we're going to put a couple of pieces of clay on the side of the fish like that. So what I'm going to do is put those approximately here. See that? And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Here. See that? I want to kind of just do that. And just kind of make sure that those are nice and attached. Just want to make sure. And then what I'm going to do is just pinch a little bit of clay off here. I don't think I made them a little bigger than I wanted to. So, But I do want to take a little bit of clay off. So that was the subtractive technique. And I just want to go around. Take a little more clay here. I pinched a little more piece off there. So, a 
then yeah that one's starting to look a lot better now another thing that we want to do is I want to work on making the mouth now so what I'm going to do is take some of this clay here just take a couple little pieces And I'm going to make like little lips. So we're going to take this, see this piece of clay here? Roll that between your fingers like that. Just like that. And I'm going to take and just kind of put that there like that. See that? And then we'll take, and we'll roll this. Between our fingers. See that piece? And now we're gonna take, just gonna roll it a little bit more, make it a little bit longer. And I'm going to do it like that. See? Another thing that we're going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm going to do this for the eye. I'm going to take one of these, um, like a stylus, and just kind of work that like that. See how I'm doing that? Then I'll do the other on the same side, the other side. So now what I want to do is each one of those little, I'm going to make, make a couple little eyeballs. Want to make sure these are approximately the same size. Well, got to take a little more clay off of them. <laughs> a little, they were a little too big. So I'm going to show you. You can you can barely see it. Uh, let's see, see how big that is. I'm going to make that size right there. And then what I'm going to do. Take the stylus, make this a little bigger, push that in. See that? Now push that in there like that. We'll do the same thing. See the hole here? I'm going to take and put that one in there too. And then, now, we can start to put the fins on them. So make sure we have it approximately the right location. See that? And then what I'm doing So put that there, and just I'm pushing down on that, so it, be, it becomes attached. And then there are a couple of other little fins that are going to go under here. Let me make sure. It's going to go there. 
and then I'm attaching that to the other side on this side. See that? And then taking this here, and the other one's going to be attached right here. See that? And then we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. I'll attach that like that. He's really starting to come along now. Let me see. Let me just, I'll move him a little bit. You see that? Now, some of the other things that we want to do are, I do want to, one of the things we're going to do is we are going to attach him to the, the base. So I'm going to take some aluminum wire here, cut this, see that right there? And let me see how I'm going to, I just want to see what the easiest way for me to do this is. And then what I'll try to do is, is put the piece kind of like that. I inserted it. And so what I'm going to do is just add a little more clay here so you can't see that wire. And then I'll just add a little bit of clay. See right there, we're going to add a little more clay there because I want to make sure that those are attached now. I put some clay in there. And I'll put a little more clay over here. See how we did that? And now we're going to do some of the detail work to this. So I'm going to take and take this and kind of create some lines. See that? With that. And do that. I'm going to do on the tail here. Kind of go like that. See that? You want to make some nice lines with the stylus like that. I'll flip that over. Do the same thing on this side. Kind of do that with the stylus. And then Another thing you want to do is you want to make this, you have the stylus, but you want to kind of go up like this because you're making the fins. So you're doing that. And I would do that on the other side also. See that? You want to go and do that like that. You want to do the same thing for this one. You want to do the, these fins here. See how that you do a stylus? Like that. 
And then even like this under one, the one that's down here, the stylus. So you do that to all the fins. Now you want to create some beautiful texture with the, um, you want to make scales. So what I found is I have this nice little tool here and it's got, um, I'll take this off. It's got like a little round opening there. So when I take and I put that in here, it creates the effect of scales. See that? And you're going to do that all around. You're going to do that all down through here. So Rick's going to look really cool. See that? You're going to do all along the fish here. You're not going to do the fins, but you're just going to do the body of the fish that way all the way around like that with this stylus. You create those little scales with this tool. And it, it's a really cool effect. See that? See how nice that looks? And then you're going to do all up through here. Do the same thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the entire area here up through here. You're gonna do all down through here, do the same thing. It'll take it, it'll take a while, but I'm just showing you what you need to do. That way like that. And I what I would do is I'd clean up there's an area here, you know where we put the extra clay? Just kind of rub over that, make it look like water. Like that. So that there is basically how you would make your Finding Nemo clownfish. And just continue to do that, like I said. Use that little tool there. Do that. Make all the lines on the fins. And when you completed doing that, then he'll be ready to fire in the oven, and then he'll be ready for painting. And I do want to thank you for coming to the show Creations of Clay today, and I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now. Thank you.